Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Jeremy X here, and with my trusty co-host, Aaron. Hello, guys. Glad to be back. And now we are here to open Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragons of Legend Unleashed. Tell you what, I've been excited for this for about a week. Hey, yeah. Yes. Oh, that Numeron Dragon on the cover, though. Yeah. Too bad he's sort of underwhelming, but hey, he's still a fun guard to use. He's mm -hmm. just really hard to sign. We can't have everything be like the show now, no, can we? No, but I still want to—I still want them to print in English the uh, Divine Serpent Gay. Oh yes, yes. Divine I will make a deck around that if it comes out. Oh yes, absolutely. Maybe, maybe they'll put the books in English and then they'll take all the promo cards. That'd be like, awesome. So who's up on the first pack in this one? All right. Since there is twenty-four packs in this box. Oh, let me let me guess. There's more cards in the pack than um, uh, than Rivals of the Pharaoh, but there's there are also less packs, right? No, it's the same amount. Five cards. Really? All right. Uh -huh. Wow, that's just it's gonna be harder to pull than uh, for rivals, I'll tell you that. Right. Because there's no commons, it's just ultras and secrets. Here we go. Oh! Ra's Disciple. Uh, Red Eyes Transmigration. Flower Cardian Zebra Grass. Hand Holding Genie. And Cyber Angel Idaten. Idaten. Oh, the Cyber Angels are finally here. I have Ra's Disciple, but set that aside. I don't use him. He's cool. It's right. good to see him in an Ultra area. All right, my turn. Yeah, your, your pack next. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Ah, a little trouble here. Ha-ha. Ooh, that Amulet Dragon is going straight to you, buddy. Oh, yes, an Amulet Dragon. And... Amulet Dragon, Reaper Scythe, Dread Scythe, Flower Gathering, another Cardian, and the Blazing Mars. Ooh, yes. They finally got what? Don't they? Except for Terra Firma, they have all the planet seers in here, don't they? Oh, that have been think printed. so. Dude, that's so good you pulled an amulet dragon. Awesome, I know. That's going to need to get you Eye of Tamias. Oh, Hello, Tyrant Burst Dragon. Burst dragon. Lord, Lord of the, of the Red. Red. Flower Cardian. Mm, Pine with Crane. Cypher Wing. Yoink. And Flower Cardian Light Shower. Good, that's actually. Maybe we can make a Cardian deck, but. Ooh, Cypher Wing. <laughs> so pretty. I know. <laughs> oh, man. I pretty much promised him any cypher wings he'd come across. Oh, and any, anything Galaxy Eyes because I'm a real Galaxy Eyes fan. All right. Oh, hello. The first thing I see out of this pack is Tamias, the Knight of Destiny. Oh yeah, and he's baby. finally able to be played. Uh, what else do we have here? We have Legendary Knight Critias, uh, Flower Gathering, Performer Pal Uni, uh, Uni, um, yeah Uni, and the Tripper Mercury. Wow, that's really pretty. Another planet series right over here. We're getting some I'll good. That up so is it every? Is it like a secret and like a bunch of ultras? I think so. Because that makes it totally worth the money. Oh my goodness! Did you get another one? We got Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. All right. We got Berserker. Oh, oh that scene was brutal. Oh, Japanese. Monster Kado. He Monster was just overkilling him. No what killer. Flower Cardian Zebra Grass with the Moon. Mm -hmm. Flower Cardian Paulonia. And Cyber Angel Benton. Oh, I remember this when she used it against Chaz. That that right. that duel was hysterical. <laughs> you know, Chaz and Nova when he tried to make a leg six with his yeah. girlfriend. That we was... have in this pack Relay Soul. Uh huh. Guardian, Guardian Dread Scythe. Zushin the Sleeping Giant. This guy is so hackable with a wild monster appears. Oh, yeah. Uh, Flower Cardian Willow with. Uh, make sure Calligrapher. Sorry, I that's, right. the, yeah, that's right. And then Ritual Sanctuary. Ooh, that's a nice. Feature. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Come on, I'm hoping for more ga Galaxy and Cypher stuff for me and I'm more uh, Star for Dark Magician for you. Another Amulet Dragon! Dude. How do you like that? The Optimus! Yes! Finally! Scrum Force, Rapidator Blade Burner Falcon, Ooh. and the Blazing Mars again. Bro, them right back to back. We're doing this. You know we have to make Dark Magician for you now, oh, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Oh. That's... Oh, okay, next one's mine. We have Curry Bandit. No, no, no. Ooh. The, the Seal, Seal of Ori Calcos. Calcos. second printing, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, Flower Cardian, Zebra Grass with Moon, Hand Holding Genie, and number 98, Antitopian. Ooh. Ooh. Two level four monster. It's literally a dark utopia. Dude, that's really cool. Sea um, uh, Lavori Calcus, though. Oh, all right for the I need to rewatch all these, man. Forgive the jostling and the tr We're on a table at a place. Right Rocket Hermos Cannon. 
Legendary Very Knight nice. Hermos, Cyber Petite Angel, Flower Guardian Zebragrass, and Galaxy Stealth Dragon. Oh, not the one I was wanting to see because my deck doesn't use it, but it's still a really nice looking secret. All right. You're next. Oh, yeah, that's right. <sighs> Hoping for Cypher Dragon. Hoping for Cypher Dragon. Another Raw's Disciple. Time, Time Magic, Magic Hammer. Night Express Knight. Zushin the Sleeping Giant. Giant. And Flower Guardian Pine. I believe this deck has all you need to make a Cardian deck. Yeah, it's... This this, this pack, this set. Yeah, this is supposed to be like Flower Cardians and Numbers and pretty much every card from the Oracalco Saga. And oh, look at this! Almost every Another Berserker Soul, Guardian Dread Scythe, Flower Cardian Willow, Raptator Blade Burner Falcon, and Cyber Angel Dakini. Cyber Angels needed to happen, by the way. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> Again, like I said in the other video, I'm really kind of hoping we get like a little dual top corner on deck building oh, with yes. all these in. Oh, oh, Legend of Heart. Legend of Heart. Oh yeah, baby. Tyrant Wing. Tyrant Wing. Number 59, Crooked Cook. Oh yes. Flower Cardian, Zebra, uh, Zebra Crescent. Oh, oh Neuron, Neuron Dragon! Dragon! Mine, mine. Neuron Dragon! Yeah. Again, underwhelming, but um, he, he, he could have been a little better, but hey, we have him. I'm, I'm a huge Zexel fan, in Japanese, of course. Because the dub stinks. So, well, I mean, I can I can easily cheese match, just I have to give up two, I have to basically give up two Galaxy Eyes Tachyons, but I can honestly easily get him out. It's just he's usually not worth the investment. I would rather have two Tachyons. Wiretap. Soul Charge. Night, Night Express Knight, Rapidator, Napalm Dragonius, and Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon. More Odd Eyes is always welcome. In fact, oh, yes. we might be able to incorporate that in your deck. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But of course, I eventually want to see you shift over to Pure Dark Magician, and maybe Dark Magician Girl. Oh, yes, There's absolutely. a new one um, that's not out in here yet. I think it's a jump promo in Japan. It's um, Apprentice Magician Girl. Apprentice Magician Girl. Oh, my god. So is it, is, it like, is it like Mana or something? Uh, actually, cool. yeah, it looks just like her. Cause it'd be cool if it was like Yeah, because we now have hot. Okay. Tyrant Wing. Goddess Bow. Number 78, Number Archive. Machine Angel Ritual and Red Nova. Oh, that arc in Japan was just the best. I freaking Burning I, Soul. I want to see the number archive to him. may just cause be I I freaking love Griger. <laughs> Alright. Four and no, no. Whoa, this is just... Number Archive is just is basically inside the key. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it is. Look at it. It's like it's inside the key. Yeah, it is. Like, it is inside the Emperor's Sorry, key. Sorry, so I'm, cool. I'm turning him into a huge uh, Japanese Dexel nerd. Look, you can, see, you can see number 78 on there and everything. Uh-huh. I, I just think it's really cool that Yuma went on to be Ushio. That... He fits. He is literally just playing Uma only with a spear. He's sorry, Uma Ushio. He's playing Yuma just with a spear. Legendary Knight Hermos. The Clang of Critias. Special schedule. schedule. Perform a pal corn. And the Grand Jupiter. Another planet series for the stack. My turn. Come on, Cypher. Right. After this, we'll have eight packs left. I'm really hoping for more Eye of Tamias, buddy, but hey, we have one at least. Another Tyrant Burst Dragon. Oh, yes, that's right. Legendary Knight Critias. Flower Cardian, uh... Palonia? I don't know. Ra um, it's upside down, it's hard to read. Uh, Raid Raptor, Napalm Dragonius, and another... Tripper Mercury. Some Raid Raptor... Raid Raptor is such a fun archetype to play. Yes. I've never done it myself, but a buddy of mine just won't stop talking about it. And they, uh, they need the other some other of their support to be really consistent. Mirror Force Dragon. Mm. Legendary Knight Tamias, Perform a Pal Corn, Flower Cardian Willow, and number 45, Crumple Logos, the Prophet of Demolition. Some good numbers that in here. one wicked number. I wanted that set to contain number fields so bad because it made numbers hey, yeah, go be, I kind of got a sneak peek at the back. Mirror Force Dragon, Red, Red Eyes Transmigration, Scrum, Scrum Force, Force Another Cypher. Cypher Wing, and Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon. Awesome. I'm really hoping we get more Eye of Tamias for you, man, because, I mean, if not, you can still order them because they're four bucks now. Six packs left. Two Cypher Wings out of that. I'm hoping to get Cypher Wings and the and Cypher Dragon. All right, we got Time Magic Hammer. Uh-huh. Reaper Scythe, Dread Scythe. Perform Pal Uni. Snow Plow, Plow Hustle, Hustle Russell. Russell. Cyber Angel Dakini. Yeah. Oh, we pulled a freaking Numeron Dragon, though. I know, it's like... 
Let's see what else we get. We get. It's like pulling Phoenix Raw out of out of Millennium. That must have been lucky. Rocket Hermos Cannon. Oh, yeah, like Relay like, Soul, Snowplow Hustle Russell, Zushin the Sleeping Giant, and Ritualist Sanctuary. It's like uh, I, I I pulled I got one pack of Millennium pack when I was out shopping with my with my sister, and then boom, That's first the one, card I pulled the one, was the one uh, pack I pulled of Millennium Gold had. Oh, rolled. speaking of which. Da, da, Another da, seal of our Mound of the Bound Crate. I honestly like the secret. Or, 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 Crooked Cook. Our party oh, our secret. with Phoenix and the Grand oh. Jupiter. We might have to get another box of this sometime, actually. Oh, absolutely. Because, honestly, that Eye of Tamias is honestly worth the entire set. Oh, absolutely. Speaking of the Eye of Tamias, that's your two. That's your two. Goody. Another Legendary Knight, Tamias. Our party in Willow with... Machine Angel Ritual and number 51, 51 finisher, finisher of the Strong Arm. arm. Alright. Man, I'm hoping for I'm hoping for one more pull of uh, Eye of Tamias for you, because we can run a three set of Dark Paladin just at that point. Absolutely. Okay, my final pack. And the first card is Mound of the Bound Creator. Tamias the Knight of Destiny. Flower card in Polonia with Phoenix. Number 78, Number Archive, and Number 24, Dragulus the Vampiric Dragon. Whoa. Oh, he's a worm type. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Right. Last pack of the whole set. Let's see what we get here. Soul Charge. Lord of the Red. Knight, Express Knight. Flower Gathering, and Red Nova. Aww. Well, at least we got two Ive to Mayas's. Yeah, two, I was I was honestly banking for your three set, you know, though. But now you can just completely replace Buster Blader and Polymerization out of that deck. Hey, this, this like, like for, for, for the 40 bucks I paid for it, it's a very good one. Yeah, like, we got two, again, I prefer Mound of the Bound Creator in its secret rare form, but then again, it's because I run one in one of my decks just for flavor and its slight protection. We have two Mound of the Bound. Should we... Uh, we don't really have internet right now, so I don't think we're going to do it the last time and organize them this time. But, um... We, can, we still can organize by set number. I, I guess we could, so uh, I guess we'll be right back. So, this is our pull from Dragons of Legend Unleashed. Not bad at all. I'm a little sad I didn't get the last Cypher Wing or at least one Cypher Dragon. But that can always come in the next box. And it's not exactly... I mean, I think it's like a little more than half of every card I mean, in the set. Rare but. As well, so... But hey, at least we got the first one. Mm -hmm. We got ciphers. We got two of the three cipher wings, which I can't wait for the rest of the ciphers to come out, like fully over in America. We got a couple odd eyes mirage dragon. We've got a lot of the planet series. And that not, that 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 numeron dragon though. That, that was yeah. awesome. Again, not as useful in the game. If you're if you're going to use say two one oh sevens, just keep the two one oh sevens. They'll work better for you, unless you're against a pure Ixies deck that is just somehow trumping a Galaxy deck in num in ranks. But anyway, the oh, more pull the pull that I'm more excited for was the where is it Amulet Dragon? Yeah, and I have Tamias because those so needed a reprint. Yes, two Amulet Dragons. I'm two sorry, Tamias. One Dark Magician nice. Girl, the Dragon Knight, and one Legend of Heart with two copies. Of every legendary knight. Am I and two copies one? of Tanias the Knight of Destiny. Am I the only one who thinks Legend of Heart would look good in Ghost Rare? Or, uh, not, sorry, sorry, not Ghost, Ultimate Rare? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think they, didn't they stop printing Ultimate and Ghost Rares? They have, I still have Ultimates in the core sets, I think. Uh, sadly, I think they did. No, I think they still have Ultimates when it comes to, like, the cover cards of a set. Like, for the actual linear Yeah, they, they still have Ultimate Rares for, But I like, know they stopped Ghost Rares. Like, like for, you know, like... Especially with the Yugi and Kaiba's new structured X. Yeah, they have, that's where we'll see the ultimate. But I doubt we'll see Ghost Rares again. But uh, the thing... Oh, again, another another thing, include... I'm glad they reprinted it, but it really wasn't that much. Mount of the Bound Creator, honestly, it's good to have that art. But I just prefer it in Secret Rare. I mean, it's, it's still a good card, and I still run it, but I've got it in Secret Rare. And it just looks prettier. Now, honestly... Again, the big pull, the big want, want here was I have Tamias because we're making my buddy here a working Dark Magician deck. So instead of you know they're both at four bucks and we got more value out of this. I mean, we pulled Numeron, we pulled a lot of good stuff. I don't think we have enough yet to make a full Cyber Angel deck. And um, these Performer Pals are just you know support monsters. They're not uh, making an entire. You're not making a Performer Pal deck from this set. However, I believe this this set has every Cardian you need to make a functioning Cardian deck. 
Now the question is, how do you run a Cardian deck? I think uh, my buddy and I here are going to be uh, figuring that out at some point. Yeah. Doing a little research, doing some test plays. Now, anything out of the, else out of this set you found particularly interesting that wasn't the ones we were hoping for? Well, for one, I like the fact that we got these two nice, lovely-looking Berserker souls. Yes. And I didn't even know about these uh, num about all the numbers. I knew about here. most of them, but I never noticed number archive. I really like Dragulus and Crooked Cook, and especially Number Archive and Antitopian. Anti that was that looks like so freaking cool. And the Dread Scythe and Ra's Disciple and all the other few again another one that looks better. And actually, no, pretty much. Actually, surprisingly, I actually like the Hermos fusions just because I'm a Joey fan myself. Uh, I just we pulled two Itamias, one Fangacritius, but no Claw of Hermos this time around. Yeah, that's a big shame. Though, um, better luck did. next pull, though. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, this is still a very successful pull. We got about half of more than half of what we wanted. Again, like I said, my biggest issue was saying, can we get the, a couple of eyes, eyes of Tamias? And, and we, we did. Get some I even forgot that Amulet Dragon was in the set. I was just looking for eye because Amulet Dragon's nice, but you know, Avery, you know you're going to be using that eye of Tamias for that Dark Paladin, though. Well, that is so going to my deck the instant I get home. You need, you need to get a fourth one, man. I don't know if we should just get another box and see what else we can pull, because I want those ciphers. Oh, I'm so getting another another box. Then we can just, you know, use that $4 towards that so we can get another eye, because they really are cheap now, because that printing really dumbed them down, because the, the thing was, it was needed, it was before the Dark Magician support actually came out, it was the only support Dark Magician had for a while that made them worthwhile. It's probably going to happen after Christmas, though. Uh, hope sooner. Yeah, if... I like mean, if, 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 if it's going to wait that long, we might as well start piecing together and getting the other eye to my as, as, as it sits. So. If my half clean, half under the table money comes in soon enough. Yeah, but you didn't well, hear it from me. Eh, that's, a, that's another thing. But honestly, a lot of good looking cards. I was really worried about, you know, the secret, the how many secrets there were. There were 20 by my count. And I'm like, and, it, and that's like a little like half the set. I didn't know if secrets were guaranteed or not. Which is why I was so relieved when Optimize was no longer a secret, it was an ultra. And, honestly, the secrets that are in this set deserve to be at that spot. Like, Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon is a good one at that rarity. Uh, what else? Obviously the boss monsters for, mm -hmm. uh, the boss monsters for the Cyber Angels and for the Cardian. Because, uh, you know, I remember back in, uh, kind of, you know what this reminds me of a lot of? Oh, what? It's a it's a Dragons a Legend uh it's a Dragons a Legend themed uh, hidden arsenal if you remember them. You oh, know with, which... where the ice barriers first came out and the Oh shoot. And, yeah, and the gem knights. It kind of runs the deck cuz all the boss monsters were of secret rarity. Mm. But uh, I think that's all we have for now, isn't it? Yep. And uh, I should po probably point out that I had a little to no idea what you were talking about. But that's just because I can never afford those cards. Cause oh, sorry. This is, just, this is just a guy who's been in the game a while talking and remembering. Oh, yeah. I remember one of my first pulls was a Trishula, and I traded it not knowing its value. <laughs> well, I traded a lot of things myself not knowing their values. But uh, we've grown from that, and man, a lot of good stuff right here. And All right. And if anything I don't like is going straight on to eBay. Uh, I guess. I mean, I thought we were just going to hang on to it and see what we can work with, you know? Eh, maybe. I mean, more stuff to work with this segment, because remember, we still gotta, we still got to get more Rivals of the Pharaohs so we can make that silent deck. Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm convinced that can be a fully functioning, fun little deck. All right. All right. Well, until then, I guess we'll see you all next time. This is Jeremy X and Aaron signing, signing off. off.